Hello, this is Mark with BedBugSupply.com and he'll be going over the Pro 6 Duo Continuous Fill Commercial Steamer. That's one of our more popular units on the website. Uh, a couple of good things about the units uh, set the, the steamer apart is it is a continuous fill. I get that question a lot, uh, what exactly it is. On a normal steamer, uh, you basically have to wait for it to cool down when it runs out of steam. Uh, cool down, add more water, and then wait for it to heat back up again. Uh, with the continuous fill, it basically has two tanks. One is unpressurized and one of them is. Uh, the unpressurized tank uh, injects into the pressurized tank so uh, you can continually add water to it with zero downtime. You never have to wait for it to cool down and then refill it again. You just take off the cap here and then add water into it. Uh, what it also has as well is a steam adjustment knob which is found in the Vapamore 299 and above. Uh, this is really nice when you're doing a bed bug job because you can control uh, how much steam comes out, which is very important when you're doing a bed bug job. Uh, comparing it to, uh, let's say, a, um, a hair dryer. A hair dryer has heat to it, but it also creates a lot of force, and it would basically just blow the bed bugs all over the place. When you use a steamer, it works much better because you can control the force, the pressure coming out, so depending on which. Uh, which tool or uh, attachment you add to the steamer, you can uh, make the steam come out in different ways. Um, going on to the attachments, uh, we'll do that in a few seconds. All right, moving on to the uh, Pro 6 Duo attachments that are included with the unit. Um, there are so many different attachments. I brought out just a few of them here to show you what we use uh, for bed bug jobs. Um, what I like about the uh, Pro 6 Duo and the Solo also has the same attachments as well is uh, their tubing attachment tools, extensions, are made out of metal which is uh, very nice uh, for doing a commercial job. Um, what you do is you basically just attach these onto here and then you can attach the steam gun onto here so you will be getting your hands and knees when doing a bed bug job so it creates more versatility on the unit. Um, this is what they use basically to just like clean your floors when you're just uh, like kind of like a, a mop as opposed to just using that. You can use this, you put a cloth on the end of this, it comes with the unit and you can use it to clean your floors. Um, again, we're doing bed bug presentation here so we're not going to be using that for any of the, uh, the uh, presentations. Um, what I like doing in a bed bug job is uh, I like using the triangular attachment here and there's a tri-jet uh, extension uh, or tool here as well which is very popular I'll go into that as well um, the other attachments here I don't really normally use these this is more for doing like a you know cleaning tile and grout things like that so put those back in there but uh, now I'm going to show you uh, how to use these two attachments to do basically any portion of your bed bug treatment in your house, hotel, apartment, uh, what have you Before I show you how to do it the right way when you're doing a bed bug job with a steamer, I'm going to show you how most people do it the wrong way. Um, every steamer we sell has a single nozzle jet attachment. It comes out of one hole, basically. Um, a lot of people will take this attachment here, they're going to attach it on here, they're going to turn the steam adjustment knob all the way up. And they're going to attempt to steam like this. All you're going to do inside the hair dryer is blow them all over the place. You want to have good pressure inside the tank, gives you good hot dry steam, but you don't want to have a lot of pressure coming out of the attachment. All you're going to do is hose down your bed bugs and blow them all over the place. Now I'm going to show you how to do it the right way. Um, we have two different attachments here. This is more of a, a crack and crevice attachment. You can use this on the baseboards, any kind of area the size of the credit card can slide into. You can also steam that as well. And then for larger surface areas, whether it's sofas, mattresses, um, areas that are larger, we can use the triangular attachment or uh, other attachments that are similar to this one. Um, as you look down below here, we have uh, multiple holes that come out of here, which is where the steam comes. Uh, we like to put a, a piece of toweling, it's a microfiber uh, toweling I purchased from the store. Um, I think it was like $8 for 15 of them. Uh, they're machine washable, so they don't come with the machine, but you can readily you know, purchase these at your local 
multi-purpose store. Um, what we're going to do here is basically put the toweling over the attachment. It's going to help break up the pressure that we don't blow them all over the place. Um, also, it's going to absorb some of the, uh, the moisture that comes out of it. Uh, even though it's a classified uh, dry vapor steamer, it definitely uses water and water will come out of the uh, tip of the steamer. So what we're going to do here basically is we're going to take uh, the toweling here. I took a, uh, the microfiber toweling that came with the, uh, with the package here. I just took a pair of scissors and, and cut it in half. But we want to take the clips here and we're going to attach the toweling to the attachment on both sides here. And then I'm going to take uh, some rubber bands, which also are not included with the unit, but you can get these pretty much anywhere. Uh, and take these and put them over the end. What we're trying to do here basically is create a, a flat surface down below, or like a pocket where the steam can come through. So I'm going to take a few rubber bands here, and I'm just going to kind of make it flat down below. seconds and because I'm a perfectionist I don't like the way it looks so I'm going to put one more rubber band down here and make the fold over so when you get done with it you have a nice little triangular pattern down below and when you turn the steamer, the steamer on you'll see a steam kind of uh, flow through here without a lot of pressure all right, with the microfiber tallings on here, I'm going to show you how it looks when you do it right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and clip on the gun here. And when I pull the trigger here, there is basically no wind whatsoever to blow the bed bugs around. You just feel nice heat coming out. It's hot to about almost to here, okay? So it's extremely hot. That's for your sofas, chairs, mattresses, areas like that. For your cracking crevice treatments, uh, we use this one here. That's going to fill in those cracks and crevices. This one's a little bit more uh, uh, concentrated. Within about probably one inch of the tip is where it's hot. When you're out here, it's almost cold. But when you get closer to here, it gets extremely hot. Within probably one inch or two inches of the tip. So that's how it basically works. Now I'm going to show you where to actually put the steam in your actual room. Okay, this is how you steam a uh, mattress properly. Again, we have the uh, microfiber telling on here. I turn the steam adjustment knob all the way up so we have a nice little flow going through here. I'm just going to go about uh, one inch per second and go slowly throughout the mattress. Then work your way all the way around. If you want to hit parts of the mattress on top, you just can keep on working the same way around slowly working your way across the mattress. It takes a little bit of time, works really well. In summary, the Pro 6 Duo Commercial Steamer is a great unit. Again, it's a continuous model. No need to wait for it to cool down. It has a steam adjustment knob. It has plenty of attachments to do a bed bug job. And after you're done with the bed bugs, you can use it as a multi-purpose cleaner for your house. Uh, if you have any questions, you can reach us on the net at bedbugsupply.com.